Hey there! Get ready to join us on a journey through the captivating landscape of northern Sarawak, where the cities of Miri, Mulu, Barrio unveil the hidden treasures. Our night day excavate begins with a crisp morning, depart from KLIA, and by noon, so our feet touch the vibrant for... grounds of Miri. Yeah. And Miri often hailed as a gateway to some of Borneo's most attractive destinations. But for now, let's focus on Miri itself, the city that welcomed us with open arms. Here's the list of top Miri attractions that we have visited. Our first destination is Tamu Muhiba. It is where the locals and indigenous people from the heart of Borneo gathered for trading. Meandering through the stores, I explored various offerings such as exotic fruits and vegetables, and along with some captivating handcrafts. So, how to eat this? Uh, this one, you just take out the skin. Take out the skin. So, this is the hard skin. So, you need to, you this one is hard skin. Uh -huh. Then, you need to open it. And, uh, then, you mix with uh, salad. Somehow, oh. yeah, they just. Oh, okay. Uh, either you can boil, also can. The local people sell durians and notably the local fruit like jiring, jantung pisang, and tarap. So you take out this one because it's something like feeder here. This one, this one you take it out. Oh, this one you take it out. Then you slice it uh, very small, cutting it very small. And then you fry it again. Of oh, it's the tarap. It's very soft. The mud. Ah. It's cooked it's cooked already. Uh, yeah. This tarap is only be found in Borneo. Yeah. Mm. At the market, you find vendors selling items such as kayu selukai and dry seafood like ikan tahai. Oh, or the gift bath for the baby if they have it. Yellow, yellow color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this place is not really developed for the tourists, but it's the effort to group all the ethnic group together so that they can do business over here and to foster a closer relationship. Oh, this is the local salt. From where? From Barrio. From Barrio, oh. Yeah. Also, there are some stores selling some salt from Barrio, which we are going to visit like soon. Himalaya salt? Something like that. Ikan tahai. Ikan tahai. Yeah. Not very sweet, nah. Coconut chocolate. Yeah. Uh. This one. Yeah, you can eat straight away. This one. Yes. Uh, this one is very nice. I can more more. Canada Hill is a great place that provides a scenic view of the city and the South China Sea. It stands 150 meters tall and is named after the Canadians from the Shell Company who dug the first petroleum well in 1910. Uh, because a long time ago, this uh, the British, the British people come here from Canada. So uh -huh. who the first uh, doing the drills, drillings in this top of the hills? Oh, the Plus Canada uh, people comes here yeah, to drill the uh, uh, to f to look to for the petrol yes. and the gas yes. industry. Yeah. So uh, so that is uh, why this is called this Canada hill. A faded crown of grey caught in her hair. She should be on a throne. Not in this god forsaken home. The grand old lady that is the Malaysia's first oil well is situated at Canada there. Hill and was drilled by the Royal Dutch Shell in 1910. We also visit the Catrolling Museum of the Canada Hill to learn about the oil industry in Miri and the city's significance of the development. This ship comes in. I've just one prayer left on my lips. Lord, take me kindly if you please. It takes a couple. 
Tua Pekong Temple honors a deity Tua Pekong, whose overseas Chinese highly regard. About 120 years old, the original building was extended with a new addition after the pandemic. Recently, the temple underwent a beautification project that includes the construction of a 70-foot statue of Tua Pe Kong, so this, which this is considered is the, the largest of this kind yeah. in Southeast Asia, according to our and guide Andy. This is the extension. This is the extension. Oh, this is after the pandemic, they add on as a new extension. Uh, okay. This one, the toes is about uh, 70 feet. And then the cost of this toast is about 800,000. Mm. Just uh, completed? Yeah, just, just, this one just, just completed. The garden she can't grow. For its freedom she's missing. Just to make her own decisions. Keep living how she's living till she goes. is a frame with the skin all stretched and stained and she wears that crown of gray just like a queen she should be on a throne not in this god forsaken home where the medicine's becoming the disease she says, I'm not scared Our next anti-handicraft center specially designed for trolls. We select and purchase some fridge magnets and the center consists of less than 20 stores located in a hand corner. And due to the scorching heat outside, we took advantage of this cool air inside the building. We visited the city council to enjoy the stunning panoramic view from the top floor of the unique barrel shaped building. It's over 1500 miles, and that's enough space for me. Was it really us? It doesn't seem to be. One arm on my chest and my head overseas. And Central we were allowed Army. to ascend to the top level to admire the beauty view of the sea and the city with the central park of Miri in the background. And the color of the sea water was noticeably darker than the other places we have visited. And our guide explained that this was due to the mix of water from the nearby river and sea water. Coco Cabana is the perfect place for capturing breathtaking sunset views. This location is considered one of the best places in Mary to watch the sunset, with its most notable features being a striking seahorse lighthouse. And seahorse is a mascot of Mary. Cold, 
and the highlight is the opportunity to take breathtaking sunset photos as the presence of big giant trees in the foreground add to the charm of the photographs. Together, uh, together. all together, 2005. Zero, zero, Furthermore, there is a large it's hall a that can accommodate sizable functions. Built in 2005, um, together, but at the same time, with uh, the Seahorse Lighthouse. The presence of stores selling cold drinks and snacks is also a plus. We visited the Mary waterfront during midday and it was scorching. Despite the weather, we took photos of the seahorse statues and the waterfront before moving on to our next destination. The most intriguing part of Piazza Nature Reserve is the love story between Jimmy and Farida, two lovely oriental pie hornbills. Farida was brutally killed in 2013 by a group of delinquents. So Jimmy's reaction to her death by constantly calling and yelping and his restless behavior showcased the death of his mourning. Jimmy was soon noticed forming a new romantic bond with Juliet, a young oriental pie hornbill. Now, Farida's carcase was on display within the reserve. Imad Sudan is a remarkable and unique shopping complex with a single story, open as setup, and that sets apart from the traditional multi story buildings. What attracted me was the attention to details with the almost artistic arrangement and proper packaging of the vegetables. When we returned from Mulu, we went to Peleau Beach to wait for the sunset. We saw people catching crabs and fish, and then we took stunning photos of the magnificent sunset. It was truly captivating. From bustling markets to nature beauty, every corner revealed a piece of your soul. So, dear friends, stay tuned for more captivating journeys ahead, and until next time, keep exploring and embracing the world's wonders. See you soon.